and welcome back everybody this is episode 25 and today we are going to upgrade the gold farm but we start off in the overworld at 318 days so just doing them grindy bits that you need to do on skyblock uh, trying to get all my chests organized we do bump into another wandering trader unfortunately it doesn't have anything good enough to to really show you so uh, we'll move on uh, but like I say, getting them, trying to get lots of redstone so that we can get this build. And we are now into the nether. So this is the setup that we've got at the moment. You stand up at the top to AFK, they come down, drop in here, and they come into these chests. I have to then manually sort out all the loot into the individual chests. And then we need to smelt all the gold and uh, do that manually. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get an item elevator, which is what we've just put up with droppers there along with a redstone elevator as well to make sure that it's got power all the way up to the top now at the bottom we've got a little simple hopper clock and this is the item and redstone elevator so it goes all the loot now goes into that chest but we're not we're not, we're not going to stop there we, uh, we can we can automate this even more or make it a lot easier for us. So now at the moment we can AFK and get all the loot on one level. The only time we will actually need to uh, come down here, um, not only to put some glass in to make it look all nice and pretty so we can see our victims fall to the death, uh, but also we need to get the XP because you still get XP through this method, which is strange because you're not actually killing them. This It's actually gravity that's killing them. Uh, we've got some fire down there as well for those little mini zombie piglins that come down on uh, chickens. They prevent fall damage, so they need to die via for the fire. So we start off now by making a little item sorter. Now what this does is it actually locks that middle hopper to 45 items. And we'll show you at the end of the video how we get that set up and what items we have got sorted. We also get ourselves a little piglin and we put him in a in a boat so he doesn't despawn. Unfortunately we forget it gets triggered when, when I open a chest. So yeah, he must he must go. And for the remaining items we are going to get them automatically smelted as well. So yeah, just working on, um, you know, the little level here. Um, we've not made anything look pretty at the moment. We are literally just going to get it functional. And once we've got it functional and happy with it, that's when we're going to try and make it a little bit prettier and maybe put a little bit of a design in. But yeah, I'm just making it a lot easier for us to get gold so that we can trade for the numerous items that we'll, we'll need, mainly dirt. Right, what we have done so far, if we just come a little bit above here, um, we have got a dropper system, um, an item elevator, which is bringing all the items that these guys drop when they fall 30 blocks and it'll get put up into the system at the moment it will then get all sorted out using our item sorter so we have a place for rotten flesh gold nuggets old bars and feathers now the remaining things which seems to be as you can see here we've got a bit of a back date so it's clogging up our system so we need to make this a little bit longer and at the moment what this is doing is this will smell anything that's remaining at the moment we're getting coal because we ran out so apart from the fuel situation and i can manage to jump onto here we have got all the golden swords and chickens will go into this furnace this furnace will smelt them down and what we will have left is gold nuggets, cooked chicken, 
and charcoal because we bugs in there. Um, and then in here we'll have rotten flesh, gold nuggets, gold bars, and feathers. So this means I can literally just stand here and AFK and everything will be sorted for me. However, as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, uh, guys, just to make sure that I don't have to, we constantly get a flow of these guys coming in because uh, he's going to be constantly angry and he doesn't die, always sees me and any ones that have spawned and they'll, he'll trigger them to be annoyed. And if you've got this far in the video, I want to give you a big thank you very much from me as it is really appreciative of your time. And if you can like the video, it really does help the video out on the channel get to more people. I have been playing a bit of scum recently, so you'll see a bit more content on that. But don't worry, this, this series will not be going away and we'll have many more episodes in the future. The next episode will briefly expand on this upgrade to the gold farm. As always, thanks for watching and happy gaming.